Howdy, hey, this is Frackbox, and I'm here with True Blue Blur. Long time no see. So, uh, we I just are... accidentally triggered the cutscene. Oh. <laughs> uh. Uh. I got that one tooth. Yep. I found you. Let's see, what voice should we do for Midnight? She kind of has one. Oh, she. I guess we could just. <laughs> I don't know, but we usually read. I mean, we could just, you know. It's that's entirely up to you. Nah, we'll just, you know, that the words are on the screen. Anyway, if people wanna, <laughs> okay. Yeah. You know. She's the only character that actually has like a voice to go along with the text. Hmm. Hmm. It is interesting that like. I wonder how much they like studied wolves when they were like like making the, the model for yeah I'm not sure because I mean they got the tail thing right yeah like when when wolves and dogs are threatened they'll put their legs mm -hmm. they'll put their tail between their legs like that so yeah um there's no need to bite <laughs> yeah it is strange that she's the only character that has somewhat of a voice it's, it's like it's to show just how different she is from everyone else yeah. Why did she break it there and not like? <laughs> Where are we? Yes, I was I was wondering that myself. She is. She must be very powerful. Um, she she is pretty powerful. Yes. Because I mean, she can like basically teleport through things. Not that she needs to, because I mean, she's probably small enough to fit through <laughs> those bars. But not her head. Right. Um. Okay, is she going to let us through? Not exactly. we got to figure out how to get in there. Um, see, the only option on the, the HUD over there is dig, so... Oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that where, where I can. Maybe... Hmm. What's the matter with you? Get over here now. If you can't force your way out, why don't you see if there's some kind of hole you can squeeze through? Yeah. Okay, so there must be a hole. Maybe we can jump on those broken crates. I actually cannot get on those broken okay. crates. Hmm. Strange. There's a joke in, um... Uh, there's a, a role-playing system that, uh... I've played in the past. And when it rolls up loot... Mm -hmm. It, uh, sometimes it'll just give you broken crates. Gotcha. <laughs> um, instead of, like, anything useful. So the, the DM will sit there rolling for a while, like, hmm, interesting. All right. <laughs> hmm. Broken crates. <laughs> Dude, where's the hole? How do I get out? That is the question. Um, is it somewhere, like... It's over there laughing at me. Maybe I can break them? I can break them. Okay. Oh, there it there is. There we go. It's interesting that, like, you can dig through that, but, like, afterwards... It's still full. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, wolves are not exactly burrowing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, like, broke him in like a horse. Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so... She's not, like, the cause of why things are going on here, is she? No, she's not. She's just kind of... Hmm. Because it is, it is a little strange that, like, she just kind of, like, happens to show up. Oh, though, she's connected to the story, for sure. Right. But she isn't the cause of it. She's... I'm, I don't want to give anything away here. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm sort of aware of who she is. Okay. But, I mean... Uh, the floating were squares. <laughs> What, so, the thing that she, like, is coming out of out of her head like that, is uh -huh. that just, like, psychic it's, energy of some, it's, some it's sort? It's her hair. It's her hair. Okay. Hmm. She can grow her hair at will. Yeah, she can, in fact, do that. Magical growing hair. I'm actually pretty sure it's mostly just energy. Aww. Key. She can focus her key into her hair. Something I don't even know. Oh, man. That would be a thing for, like, 
a Dragon Ball Z character to do. <laughs> like, you know how, like, Trunks uses a sword? Yeah, yeah. Like, for somebody to focus their key into their hair. <laughs> so they had... Because so, you know how it was a big deal, how, like... Like, uh... Um... I mean, you can focus your key into different things in the Dragon Ball universe. Uh-huh. So that's how he's able to use a sword in the first place. Right. But, I mean, because it was a big deal when, like, Goku was facing, uh, uh, oh, shoot, what's his name? <laughs> how am I forgetting it? Frieza. Oh, how, wow, how, how, yeah. How, 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 I, I don't know. So, like, because Frieza was, like, taunting at one point, like, I'm just going to use my, uh, I'm not going to use my hands. And so he started, <laughs> right. and so he started using his tail. Yeah. So, I mean... You know. Then the power scaling in that universe went like way, <laughs> way fast. Too, yeah, way too fast. So maybe it, like it went crazy really fast. Um, Oops, I fell off the edge. It'd be kind of funny if like somebody tried to like focus their key into their hair and the hair just like exploded because it was like too much power into such a small thing. You're right. And suddenly they're bald. <laughs> that would actually be kind of funny. I think Akira Toriyama would probably do that. <laughs> he's kind of he's kind of funny like that. Um, he has a very, he has a sense of humor that way. Yeah. Um, so we've learned a new skill. Um, we can use our animal senses oh. to, uh, to sort of sniff things out. Huh. And, um, you were talking, so you didn't notice, but the first thing was that we came across the spirit. Oh, that, yeah. And we, when we use our senses, it, it becomes what it once was. Hmm. So those are spirits? Those aren't actually, like, people that exist in the real world? It's a, it's, it's a spirit of a person. Like, this mm -hmm. is an actual person. And I, he's he's all scared and and Because I kind out. of assumed that, like... Because I've seen this part of the game before. Okay. I had assumed that, like, the people that you saw when you use the animal sense were actual people that currently exist in the real world that you can see because the because the realms are so co close uh, and that your animal kind of, sense just allows you to see it that that's pretty close to what's happening yeah um more or less except it's not because the realms are close together it's mm -hmm. because one is bleeding into the other and the the realm that we're from is slowly becoming the other Ooh. one um and our, do the humans like die? The, when... the human physiology doesn't deal with it; it transforms them. Oh. So, and actually, she's kind of explaining that now. Oh. Oh well, actually, I guess she's not. She's just oh, okay. she's just telling me to keep fighting stuff. <laughs> just think about how you used to use the A button. It yeah, isn't, isn't that's that. actually what she was <laughs> she, saying. She literally yes. could have just. <laughs> Remember how you fought things when you were a human? You pressed the A button a lot, or whatever it was. was it the A button? I forget which button does it. Um, fighting, you, you can push the A button for a big attack, but usually it's swinging the sword. Oh, right, that. Yes. Yeah, because... Because this game, it really didn't need the motion mechanic at all. It wasn't about need. I think it's fun. Oh. Because it's one of those it's one of those things where like um, the idea of like a masterwork, uh -huh. right? Like a mas like if you were to like try to perfect something, one way you would do that is to try to remove all the superf superfluous parts until you're down to like what it just needs. Uh, yeah. Um, and in that way, that's a sort of like you know. That's when you know you're done with the design, or you're done with something. Is when you take away all you can, and you're just left with what it needs at a functional level. Um, you, but, you know, that's that's all fair. So in that way, like, sure, they're fun in a certain... I mean, I guess I haven't really used the motion controls very much in, in games. Um, I kind of just prefer to, like, just use a controller or... I've actually kind of gotten more to like PC gaming. Yeah. A lot more recently. Um, just kind of more my thing, I guess. Mouse and keyboard. Yeah. Everybody has preferences. For sure. Um, I don't know. Motion controls seem kind of gimmicky to me. Now I'm going to die. Whoa. You only have one heart left. Please give me another. Thank you. <laughs> there. 
There we go. Do they do one whole heart of health? Uh, I actually wasn't paying that much attention. Well, these black things, where are they coming from? How do we get out of here? Yeah, thanks for the help. Over here? Uh, okay. She says like she's the one who's been doing all the work. Yep. Well, hasn't she? No, she's just sitting on my back while I fight stuff. Uh... That must be it, right? That'll help. Oh, come uh -huh. on. Oh, my gosh. Half a heart. Oh, it does half a heart, yeah. <gasps> Hearts! Indeed. Oh, over here, okay. Yeah, yeah, get full health. So one, one criticism I've heard of, of this game is that, like, the dog form, or the, the wolf form, doesn't really, like... Like, it, sure, it's different in the gameplay, mm -hmm. but, like, it doesn't really change all that much throughout the game. Mm, yeah. Like, what you get in the beginning here is kind of what you get in the end, as far as, like, how the mechanics work. Right. So, it, I don't know, it just feels like it's untapped. That's, what, that's one criticism I've heard. I'd say that's probably pretty fair. Yeah. Aha! Is that the... Nope, just more enemies. Do we have to hit all of the... I don't know <laughs> which ones are correct. Oh my so. gosh, the camera. Yeah, it was because I was Z-targeting and too close to the wall. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time never had this problem. That is not an accurate <laughs> statement. No, it was the perfect game. 10 out of 10. <sighs> yeah. Too much water um, level. <laughs> is this, this is the water temple, right? No. <laughs> uh, dig here. Dig. Dig. There is not a... You actually can tell um, where you should be digging when you're in this sense thing. Oh, really? Thing. Okay. Um, yeah, there'll be a, a, a black spot that's glittery on the floor. Oh. So it's really easy to tell when you should be digging. So it's that's... It's not really easy to tell where the heck I'm supposed to be going. That's the opposite way, right? Yeah. Where did I come from again? Uh, where, where your back is turned to is where you came from. Okay, she's over here. That's right. So I need to get over there. Where have I not been yet? Uh, There's something over here. It is nice that it gives you the dungeon layout right there. Yeah, for sure. So I can't open that yet. It's closed. Is there a way to... There's, I, assume, I would assume there's a way to turn that off, though, right? Turn what off? The, the, the map? The map, yeah. Because um, I, I, I would imagine for some people it's, like, distracting. Yeah. Oh. The two button. Go. Although the, the thing that tells you how to bring it back <laughs> does not <laughs> go away. Because I, I would assume that a lot of people, are, like, would would want a more like what's the word I'm looking for um not intuitive immersive oh immersive like a more immersive experience, experience like yeah. have less on the screen right um and one of the way to do that is to like take away the UI cause some people like oh, oh there's a thing down there I need to get the water to go back yeah. down cause one of the ways to do that for some people is to take away the UI in Skyrim they have the option to in a lot of the Elder Scrolls games, mm -hmm. you can turn off the UI, essentially. Yeah. Which, um... Or have it, like... Or, like, I think that the standard is to have it, like, go away mm -hmm. when you're not getting hit or using it. Right, right. Um, but I think there's there's functions to, like, make it go away entirely. Makes sense, yeah. Um, I, ha I have actually heard about that myself. I It's tempting to want to play it that way y you know just just for the immersive experience you oh, know what i recommend doing that with is morrowind yeah because morrowind doesn't have the compass marker mm, yeah and so you have to actually pay attention to what they're saying <laughs> yeah um and I i've actually been playing through morrowind recently and it's so amazing <laughs> um, yeah because I've, I've beaten it once on the pc um like on steam yeah uh, but oh, here, here's those dig spots. That's what they look like. Oh, okay. And I'm pretty familiar with the game already because I kind of know what to do already. Right. Because um, I had a friend who um, let me play at his, hit his house. So I'm sort of familiar with it. I've seen a lot of the quests. Yeah. I've seen playthroughs of it. So I played through it on the computer, but the problem is I know the console commands, so I can just type in, like, <laughs> you know, I can give myself infinite gold. But right, yeah. I think... Um... Oh, shoot. 
we might want to call the episode. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm, pr I'm pretty sure. So this is Frackbox. This is True Blue Blur. Have a great day. Keep on running fast. Oh, I may have triggered a cutscene. Oh, okay. We'll just it's wait okay. It's, it's It's very short. Yeah. It's just showing me the area. Okay, that's it. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so this is Frackbox. This is True Blue Blur. Have a great day. Keep on running fast.